European looting of the rest of humanity through slavery, imperialism, colonialism, semi-colonialism, conquest, and extermination of the indigenous people in some cases went on for 500 years. Instead of humanity celebrating the scientific advances in shipbuilding, the wider use of gunpowder which had been discovered by the Chinese around 800 BC, the wider use of quinine against malaria that the Spanish had learned from the indigenous Indians of, of the Americas, the printing press, the steam engine, and all the other inventions, we had to spend 500 years in anti-colonial wars to expel the evil parasites. In the case of Africa, it is only in 1994 that, that the indigenous people of South Africa regained control of their country. So we had to spend 500 years dealing with idiotic schemes by greedy people. The oppressors miscalculate when they use their temporary advantage in science and technology to think that they can use that to indefinitely oppress other people. The oppressed will learn, catch up, and defeat the oppressor. That is why empires always all collapse. All empires always collapse. The idea of empires is an evil idea. I don't want to impose my beliefs on you, but as a Christian, in the book of the Acts of Apostles, it says that empires are evil. You go and read the book of the, of the, book of the Acts of Apostles. St. Paul describes empires as evil. People are supposed to be free, not to be conquered by empires. We should only have free associations of nations, people of common or shared origin, interacting for mutual advantage with the peoples of the world. Therefore, we, the resistance fighters of Uganda, are flabbergasted and look down with contempt at the philosophical, ideological, and strategic shallowness of some of the actors of the world. Why not respect freedom of everybody if you say you are a Democrat? If you say you are a Democrat, why don't you respect the, the freedom of everybody? How can you say you are a Democrat and yet you want other people to be slaves? Why do you not seek influence why do, why do you not seek to influence people by your good example instead of manipulation, lectures, and threats? Again, in the book of Matthew, it says, let your light so shine before men that they see your good deeds and praise your Father who is in heaven. Influence people by example, not by threats and uh, manipulations, Chauvinists of race, religion, tribe, or gender should stop wasting our time and opportunities with their shallow schemes. Action will inevitably invite counteraction. Oppression will invite resistance. That is why we, the resistance fighters of Uganda, only fight just wars. We abhor unjust wars. The promoters of unjust wars lose most of the time. 
These are wars of imperialism, conquest, domination, etc. In the 500 years of European aggression against Africa, it was only from 1912, when the African National Congress was founded in South Africa, that modern freedom fighters came forward to lead the African resistance, the traditional illiterate African chiefs having failed to defend our sovereignty except for Menelik of Ethiopia, who defeated the Italian aggressors in 1896. It took the modern African resistance fighters only 82 years to clear the whole of Africa of these invaders, with South Africa being the last to get freedom in 1994. In that 82 years, you had the Mau Mau in Kenya, the resistance wars in Algeria, Mozambique, Angola, Guinea-Bissau, Namibia, South Africa, Zimbabwe, ETC. We won everywhere. Our African brothers in all these wars won. But after losing a lot of time, why had the imperialists thought of dominating us in the first place? Therefore, the non-aligned movement was correct. The illogical po polarization of the 1940s, 1950s, 60s, 70s, between the capitalists and communists was wrong. Why should new ideas cause tension? This was the mistake of people like Metternich of Austria-Hungary, who thought that the new ideas of capitalism that were charting the feudal order in Europe could be blocked by war. The Austria-Hungarian Empire ended up disappearing from the face of the earth, and capitalism did not stop spreading. Our stand is that the world should concentrate on the common human problems, prosperity through trade, and that's why I'm very happy to see you here. When you are outside there, you may get stereotypes about Africa, that Africa, they have no food, they are starving. Here we are dying from food. We have so much food here. 